Hello and welcome back to Irma Sofra. Today I'm going to be showing you my recipe and my take on bombitsa, a classic Balkan sweet little cookie dessert. So stay tuned for my recipe. So we're going to start off with that fudgy center. I have some condensed milk, sweetened condensed milk, some cocoa and some butter on my stove top in a non-stick pan and I'm going to mix that together making sure that there's no lumps of cocoa in the mixture. So I use the back of my spatula and kind of scrape. Once that's combined completely, I'm then gonna cook this on a low setting and I'm just gonna make sure that this thickens up. Um, kind of like when you're eating fudge, you're kind of looking for that consistency. I'm scraping the bottom of the pan with a spatula, making sure that it doesn't burn to the bottom of the pan. And then I know that this is completed when I I'll kind of level it out and then I'll take my spatula and I'll go down the center and once that filling doesn't move I know that my fudgy center is ready to go. We're going to put this in the fridge and we're going to let this chill for roughly half an hour. For the cookie part of the bombita, I have some milk, sugar and butter on my stove top. I'm going to add some vanilla sugar or a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And once that's melted together, I'm gonna add my cookies in and mix that until well combined and let that cool for about 15 to 20 minutes until it's okay to touch with my hands. So now that both the fudge center and the cookie center have cooled down completely, I'm going to oil up my hands. I'm just using regular grapeseed oil. Make sure that you use a lot of oil because as you guys can see in the video right here, it stuck to my fingers and I don't want that. I'm using about a tablespoon and a half of the fudgy center. I'm gonna make a ball. And then here, um, right below, I have this grounded up cookie mixture that we put in the cookie filling. And I'm gonna put that fudgy ball in the cookie crumbs. And I'm gonna let that hang out while I make a patty of the cookie filling that we made before. Um, and all I'm gonna do is I'm going to make a thin little patty the size of my palm and I'm going to then put the ball inside there and then I'm gonna fold it up like you would a dumpling. Now you'll see in the video when I am placing the ball inside the center of that cookie patty, um, it was too small, it, it wouldn't fold, it wouldn't fold and close up nicely. So then I just take it, kind of like when you're playing with Play-Doh, you're gonna take it and you're just gonna add it to the sides just getting that perfect width to put in that fudgy ball in the center. And then you just, like I mentioned, you're gonna close it up like you would a dumpling, super easy. And what's great about this recipe is you can fold them up and then you can put them, I put them back in that cookie crumb just so it has a little decoration on top because you will see when you close it up, um, that cookie, outs the outside part of the, the bombitsa, it does crack a little bit, but that's okay because I covered it with the cookie crumbs. And you can use coconut flakes, you can use walnuts, you can use whatever you have on hand. That's what I love about this recipe, it's very versatile. Um, and then that's it, you're ready, you can serve. You guys probably saw my husband walking back and forth, it's because he was waiting to try one. Um, and you're ready to serve them as soon as you're done making them. That's what I love about this recipe, it's super easy. And And there you have it, my version of bombitsa. Absolutely love this recipe because it's so easy. I think start to finish, it took like one hour and they are so good. That fudgy center with the cookies on the outside, absolutely delicious. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel, add me on Instagram, like this video, comment below, and I will see you guys next time.